Alright, I have uploaded an abbreviation sheet for you to use. Um, it references where the abbreviations are in your Oaks book, but in some cases corrects them or makes them more simple or explains them or whatever. It lists um, normal values, names of the equations, what the equations are, um, typical values, how um, some units are converted into each other. So, taking the first equation from that list, which is the alveolar air equation, you can see that I have reproduced it here, and also in handwriting reproduced it, and then listed the normal values that would go into it. So let's try calculating it using the normal values. So we're solving for P large AO2, and the normal values have been plugged in for everything, the FiO2, the percentage of oxygen normally in the air is 21%, barometric pressure 760 torr, water vapor pressure in the lung 47 torr, CO2 arterial, which is um, what is represented in the lung as CO2, 40, and then the respiratory quotient, which is 0.8. So now I'm going to have done the first step of the math here, where I took the 760 minus 47, and came up with 713, which will be multiplied by 0.21, and then I took the 40 and divided by the 0.8, which gives me 50. If you use your calculator and carry these out, you should come up with the same results. So carrying out the next calculation, 21% times 713 gives me approximately 150, minus 50 equals 100, and the units for all of these are tor, so tor. Um, tor is the same as millimeters of mercury. So uh, Oaks tends to refer to this as millimeters of mercury. I tend to refer to it as tor, but they're both the same and they're used interchangeably. So this is how you calculate the normal value for P large AO2, which is 100 tor which is the same as what you were given. Okay, so I've cleared away all of the values that we used before, and now we're going to calculate the P large AO2 when we don't know what it is using some other values that we're going to insert. So here's what it looks like when I write it out with all of the uh, givens inserted in and carrying out the map. If I uh, subtract 47 from 746, I get 699, and then 46 divided by 0.78 is 59. So I can move on to my next step. So 40% times 699 is 279.6. Subtract 59 from that. The answer when you subtract them is 220.6 tor. So this is how you carry out the alveolar air equation.